In 2015, we left the rat race and went to the farm. We bought a 100-year-old farmhouse and nine acres. After three years of extensive renovations, we can finally call ourselves College Hill Farm. It is a beautiful morning. Just breaking dawn. Welcome back to College Hill Farm. Today, we're harvesting cabbage. Today, it is six minutes after 6 a.m. and we're in the brassicas. We're getting ready to harvest our cabbage. Uh, we planted the, those in, uh, I guess, uh, the last week of April. Uh, you can go back and check out that video. We planted our brassicas without bending over. Well, you know that I hate to bend over. So I'm sure you think that I've got some complicated system for not having to bend over to harvest these cabbages. Well, I don't. Uh, this is just one of those jobs that you wind up bending over. It doesn't matter what you do. So we're going to get at harvesting these cabbages. I've got 24 heads. Uh, there are a few weeds growed up in them, but that don't hurt nothing. They are going to be great this winter. After I get them out of the garden, Crystal will take those outer leaves off. Uh, while I come out and do something else, I start early. So my day starts at daylight. Uh, I watered the fall garden. That's doing good. Uh, I watered the fall garden before I got out here this morning. But we're going to harvest the cabbage. And uh, then it's supposed to be 92 today, I think. So old fat guys want to be out of the garden by about 10 or 11 so that there's none of that sweating going on. Well, there's probably going to be some sweating going on anyway. All right, here we go. Here's our cabbage. If you want to harvest that, you just reach down here, pull a couple of those leaves out of your way, lean that cabbage plant over, take your pocket knife, cut it off, then I knock off these, these big old leaves, and then that's what I take to Crystal. Into the tractor bucket. Okay, once you get them cut off, you just take off some of these big old outer leaves. A lot of times that's where the worms are. But now Crystal's not afraid of a cabbage worm. Then I just take that and drop it in a bucket. I've got 25 more to go. Oh, one other thing before I go. Now, if you've got limited space uh, and you don't want to do a fall plant in a cabbage, but you would like to continue to harvest cabbage, wouldn't you cut this off? The root's still there. Cut some of those big old leaves back just a little bit. Leave a good, leave a good leaf on it, but cut it back just a little. And what can happen is that will regrow like little cabbage heads all around it. So you can harvest another harvest of cabbage won't be as big as your first harvest but it'll be another little fall harvest of cabbage late harvest but the truth is I've got late flat Dutch uh, you saw that in the germination video uh, I'm gonna plant that in the after I pull these out I'll come back with a tiller plow all this ground up and plant a new set right here Here's what I was talking about, about that second harvest. See this cabbage here? It had already started to put off those little side heads. So that's how you could have a fall harvest of cabbage again after harvesting these. You still have to keep the weeds out of them though. All right, folks, 23 heads of cabbage. I should have had 26, but uh, the rabbits and the groundhogs helped me by eating the center out so that three of the things didn't form heads, but that's okay. Uh, I got all this, a bucket load. Now you don't need me to show you how to put it up. All we're gonna do is we're gonna take it home. We're gonna cut the cores out. We're gonna cut them up, wash them up a little bit. And then we're gonna put them in Ziploc bags and just put them in the freezer. They're great for soups and stews. We don't like them too much as fried cabbage, but I'm gonna tell you, 
fried cabbage and soup beans is happening tonight or tomorrow. There's the result of our cabbage haul. 52 one pound bags uh, ready for the freezer. Crystal got them all done. We've got a cabbage to take to the family reunion and two cabbages to take for soup beans and cabbage tomorrow. I'd like to thank you for visiting with us at College Hill Farm today. I hope you found our videos entertaining and, and or informative. Uh, if you did, please like, share, subscribe, and comment on both Facebook and YouTube. Until then, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.